All right, here we go. So we've got some very big Hogwarts Legacy leaks to talk about, including a potential map expansion, I kid you not, and Quidditch DLC. And there is new content definitely coming for some of you as officially confirmed by WB Games Plus. Yes, there is a police force in this universe. How in the world is this not in the game? We're going to be diving into this and talking about the Department of Magical Law Enforcement and how it would be amazing in Hogwarts Legacy. But yeah, I'll check this out right here. That's right, I'm doing a very big next-gen console giveaway. So for a chance to win a PS5, Xbox Series X, or Nintendo Switch, be sure to follow that link in the pinned comment. Good luck to everyone who enters. All right, so here we go. Let's first of all start out with the leaks. So it says this right here. Before Hogwarts Legacy hit store shelves, a sizable leak revealed that the game's map was actually cut down in size by around a quarter. However, large areas like Highlands or the Swamps are still present in the files but cannot be accessed in-game right now. Now, the leaker claimed that these sections could be made into DLC if Hogwarts Legacy delivers when it comes to sales. Whether or not this would be a continuation of the main campaign or a new side story remains to be seen. So yeah, seems like that they had to chop down the map a little bit for this game that the Swampland area was supposed to be much, much bigger and perhaps could actually be added into the game down the road and fully realized, perhaps in some sort of spooky DLC or map expansion, which would be really, really cool and also make a lot of sense. So I would not be surprised if this did happen. And here is the actual leak right here. We're going to dive into some more details as well because yes we have more behind the scenes secrets so check it out right here the leak goes on to say this behind the scenes secret story number two the game folder was created in 2017 now initially it was intended to include quidditch and support all four quidditch positions then it was abandoned about after a year the proper trade-offs are still necessary so they were definitely developing something related to Quidditch and I would not be surprised if they just picked up on this. We've seen this happen with very recent video games. Of course, you guys know I love to cover Cyberpunk 2077. They were working on Pacifica, couldn't get it into the launch of the game. Well, guess what? We're getting an entire expansion around Pacifica in Cyberpunk 2077. So this thing is kind of commonplace with big open world games where they just cannot finish a section of the map and they're like you know what we'll shelf it for now and probably just have it as some sort of dlc when it could be fully realized in its full potential now we have got to talk about one feature i would absolutely love to see in hogwarts legacy and i think it would change the game up for the better and i don't think it would be as controversial as having a curfew system and i'm talking about this right here the department of magical law enforcement and there are so many cool details in here on how this could exactly work with different divisions and different tiers of law enforcement that could come after your character dependent on various factors it just wouldn't be like oh law enforcement would just come after you in one go no there are major details in here which would make it uniquely unique i would say to hogwarts legacy so let's get into this more starting out with auras so it goes on to say this an aura was a highly trained specialist officer who investigated crimes involving the dark arts and apprehended dark wizards and witches so what you would have essentially in hogwarts legacy is individuals that would of course be patrolling the world looking out for anyone that is particularly interested in yes the dark arts and i think it would be cool that if you learn the dark arts you would immediately kind of be on the radar of these individuals these auras and they would kind of uh, be after you more that you get into the dark arts now it goes on to say some interesting tidbits about how these auras were very good at tracking their targets they're very stealthy as well so maybe you wouldn't realize that they would be around at all that they would be kind of concealed within the actual world which would be definitely an interesting tidbit if you start using dark magic you would kind of be a little bit more paranoid not knowing if this individual was around or not but one thing that i love about how this system could work is that there are different violations according to your age and of course we know 
that we have a younger character here and he goes through the years in Hogwarts Legacy. Now, the older you get, it would make sense that the punishment would become more severe. Check out this section right here. There is improper use of magic office. So this office punished violations of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy. This included underage witches and wizards intentionally using magic, which suggests that this office may have been in charge of the trace. This permitted them to monitor the magic used by those under the age of 17. So again, it shows that they kind of view law enforcement within this realm based on are they juvenile, you know, or are they full-blown adults? So I think it would be very interesting to see that sort of tier system as you get older and older in perhaps like Hogwarts Legacy 2 or something like that. You would see that, oh man, the punishments are becoming very, very real now. I, I'm not going to be treated like, I guess you would say, a child. I got to get my stuff together. Now, this is where it gets very cool. It says many of the dark wizards would first duel with auras sent to arrest them before surrendering or even fight to the death. Auras were also used to protect high profile targets such as Harry Hogwarts and the Muggle Prime Minister. So you could actually see how they could implement some sort of dueling system against these powerful auras that approach you and then perhaps you guys go into an actual one-on-one -on -one duel with new gameplay elements and enhancements i think that'd be interesting because you know i kind of think of red dead redemption 2 i don't want it to be like a wild west duel with wands that would be kind of silly but i can't imagine that they could actually add some really cool gameplay mechanics here to favor what a duel would look like against a aura and it wasn't just one broad stroke of law enforcement there were different types of i guess you would say squads check it out right here we have hit wizards hit wizards comprised of a team of highly trained wizards tasked with arresting dangerous criminals as such there were the wizarding britons they were the wizarding britain equivalent wow they were the Wizarding Britain's equivalent of specialist firearms officers or possibly the equivalent of a muggle SWAT team. So yeah, just imagine a uh, magical SWAT team busting down your door. That would be very, very cool to see something like this in the game. Again, you're seeing how deep this system could be within Hogwarts Legacy and how interesting it can make exploring the world, especially if you are going down that dark path you're a little bit more on edge. Just something that I wish they would add to Hogwarts Legacy. Again, I don't think that this would be as controversial as adding a curfew system. Some of you guys rolled your eyes about that. I then really did not like that. But this would, I think, fit very, very well. Now, furthermore, there were patrols. As the Magical Law Enforcement Patrol, formerly the Magical Law Enforcement Squad, was tasked with general law enforcement, like the Muggle Police, trained hit wizards were a part of the squad and were dispatched to deal with high profile arrests. So you would have at your lowest tier, your patrols, and then you would have your hit wizards, of course. And then I would imagine you have your auras, which are kind of like bounty hunters coming after you if you're really, really embracing the dark art. So let me know what you think. If you would like to see this type of police force in Hogwarts Legacy, it would definitely make the gameplay more interesting. Now, what is officially going to be happening with DLC type content or new content. Now, some of you are actually going to be getting what is considered new content. We're going to talk about this one right here. It says, okay, this is what I hate about this game. Let me zoom it out a little bit. There's the PS5 exclusive quest. Yes, I'm on PlayStation. Is the absolute most epic, scary, and game development wise the best quest in the entire game? It bothers me so much that my PC and Xbox bros can't play this. But wait a second. They will be able to play it in time. So this is considered like new content for those of you on PC and Xbox. It says this, the PlayStation exclusive quest is titled Haunted Hogsmeade Shop and is unlocked late in the story, currently locked to the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4. The quest is a timed exclusive and will be made available on other platforms after a year. So yeah, it is a bummer that you have to wait a year, but hey, we're gonna have some fresh content for Xbox and PC players. And then I imagine by then I'm crossing my fingers, brand new content for everyone, some sort of news about an expansion or DLC. I'm hoping that they have plans in place to really nail this down in the future. All right, so now it's time to go over your top comments. 
Remember to leave a comment down below. It can end up in a future video. So what was my most recent video about? Let's check it out. It says, fans are frustrated over a big problem, loot system tips, and more. So yeah, this was about some of the uh, issues with the character's face changing from when you create the character to when you actually end up in the game, different lighting adjusts the character's face, and some people are saying that this needs to be fixed. And a lot of you are like, this is no big deal. This is nitpicking, and I would absolutely agree. I'm on that side of the fence, most definitely, and I think it's just an animation issue, you know, more than anything, and not really like a huge critical deal. deal. Now, Zachary goes on to say this, I'm currently going through my second playthrough and I first went through Ravenclaw, and now I'm going through as Hufflepuff and notice different quests. A character that I never met going through as Ravenclaw, I was able to not only meet them, but was taken to Azkaban, and I was blown away. I've also discovered a makeshift Quidditch arena that looks small enough for children to play on. Interesting. So yeah, it shows how replayable this game is. And I have heard about the Azkaban, uh, Azkaban, excuse me, area as well yeah i wish that area was a little bit more fleshed out and you could visit more often that's just my opinion it wasn't like tied down to certain quests but yeah casey says this maybe i'm missing something but don't these folks understand you could equip the goofy glasses etc for the stats that change the appearance to make them look like another thing you have discovered that you may prefer better hmm yes I think that they do realize that. It's just that a lot of people don't care for the eyewear and the hats altogether. That's what my assessment was from the comments there. But uh, yeah, maybe they'll add more interesting stuff that ties into your current outfits and robes. That's what I was saying that they need to match up more. And there are some options, but I guess I'm just not a glasses and hat type person when it comes uh, to the looks in this game. All right, I had to skip over comment because there are some spoilers in here and I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Now, Echo Then Void says this, depending on the engine the developers use, the LOD could have an effect on that playing on Series X fidelity and with ray tracing, at times I get a squared texture effect on the terrain. It's trying to load the proper detail. I could see this impacting the quality of the characters as well. The game doesn't offer too much for character creation in the beginning. So I'm assuming maybe there's sort of a default style it's jumping to during certain parts of the game maybe hmm, this is interesting thinking i wouldn't say i'd be frustrated by it though lol but hopefully they can address it this game is awesome yeah it's just something that i think they'll eventually get to of course in time it's not going to be like i don't believe on the top of their priority list although for those of you that are on pc and i believe there's a photo mode mod out right now and love the taking photos i can see it being more of an issue for sure all right so the next comment is this one right here new game plus wouldn't make much sense unless they lock all the spells behind the specific quest lines again if you start with everything you already will be overpowered this game is already very easy on hard i think the way they have it is it's just fine and you just start a new game if you choose so yeah it seems like some of you actually don't mind if they include new game plus or not it's just maybe perhaps some people would like to start out as an overpowered character and have all the beasts and characters and enemies leveled up and a little bit more difficult and yes maybe just maybe they should be adding more difficulty settings to this game or adjusting the higher tier difficulty settings because time and time again i'm hearing you guys saying Hey, this game is way too easy. And I think a lot of you guys are particularly playing Elden Ring. Let me know if I'm wrong or not. If you're like the Elden Ring crowd that want more of a challenge. But there it is. The latest happenings around Hogwarts Legacy. And yes, I'm going to get into some open world gaming goodness here. As we get into 2023 even further. There's going to be some really, really cool developments, I am sure. But thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. And I will see you all next time. Take care.